Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1724, the Russian Academy of Sciences, originally called the St. Petersburg Academy of Sciences, is founded in St. Petersburg by Peter the Great. In 1725, Peter the Great Romanov, Tsar of Russia, dies at 52 years old. In 1754, Horace Walpole coins the term serendipity in a letter to Horace Mann. Serendipity means finding something good accidentally. In 1787, Philadelphia's Free Africa Society organizes. In 1807, Paul Mall is the first street lit by gaslight in London. In 1813, Jane Austen's novel, Pride and Prejudice, is published. In 1820, Baltic German explorer Fabian von Bellinghausen is believed to be the first person to sight Antarctica. In 1851, Northwestern University becomes the first chartered university in Illinois. In 1855, a locomotive on the Panama Canal Railway runs from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean for the first time. In 1858, a staunch abolitionist, John Brown organized a raid on the arsenal at Harper's Ferry. In 1860, Britain formally returns the Mosquito Coast to Nicaragua. In 1878, the Yale Daily News becomes the first daily college newspaper in the United States. Also in 1878, George W. Coy designed and built the world's first telephone switchboard for commercial use in New Haven, Connecticut. In 1881, Russian novelist and short story writer Fyodor Dostoevsky died in St. Petersburg. In 1887, in a snowstorm at Fort Keogh, Montana, the world's largest snowflakes are reported, 15 inches wide and 8 inches thick. Also in 1887, work begins on the Eiffel Tower in Paris. In 1896, Walter Arnold of Great Britain becomes the first person to be convicted of speeding. He was driving four times the speed limit. He was moving at eight miles per hour in a two mile per hour zone. The police officer who pulled him over was riding a bicycle. In 1899, the American Social Sciences Association is incorporated by the U.S. Congress. In 1902, the Carnegie Institution for Science, also known as the Carnegie Institution of Washington, is founded in Washington, D.C. In 1904, the first college sports letters are given to seniors who played on the University of Chicago's football team. They are awarded blankets with the letter C on them. In 1909, United States troops leave Cuba with the exception of Guantanamo Bay Naval Base after being there since the Spanish-American War. In 1912, iconic American painter Jackson Pollock is born. In 1914, Beverly Hills, California is incorporated. In 1915, the U.S. Congress creates the United States Coast Guard as a branch of the armed forces. Also in 1915, the first U.S. ship is sunk in World War I, the William P. Fry, while it is carrying wheat to the United Kingdom. Also in 1915, President Woodrow Wilson refuses to prohibit immigration of illiterates into the United States. In 1916, Louis D. Brandeis becomes the first Jewish member of the United States Supreme Court. In 1917, municipally owned streetcars take to the streets of San Francisco for the first time. They're still there. In 1918, Leon Trotsky becomes leader of the Russian Red Army. In 1922, American Pro Football Association is renamed National Football League. In 1928, Christopher Hornsrud is chosen Prime Minister of Norway at age 101. In 1932, Wisconsin becomes the first U.S. state to enact unemployment insurance for workers. In 1933, the first time that the word Pakistan is used, it is coined for the newly formed Northern Muslim section of India. In 1934, the first ski tow in the United States begins operation in Vermont. In 1935, Iceland becomes the first Western country to legalize abortion. In 1936, American actor Alan Alda is born. He is best known for his portrayal of Hawkeye Pierce in the highly successful TV series, MASH. In 1939, 
Irish Nobel Prize laureate poet W.B. Yeats passes away. In 1944, 683 British bombers attack Berlin. In 1945, Swedish ships bring food to the starving Netherlands during World War II. In 1948, the birth of Mikhail Brizhnikov, the Soviet ballet dancer. In 1949, the New York Giants signed their first black players, Monty Irvin and Ford Smith. In 1953, J. Fred Muggs, the chimp, joins NBC's Today Show. In 1956, Elvis Presley makes his first television appearance. In 1958, the original Lego brick is patented. Since then, over 500 billion have been produced. Also on this day, Dodgers catcher Roy Campanella is paralyzed in an automobile crash. In 1959, the Soviet Union wins 62 to 37 for the first international basketball loss by the United States. In 1960, the National Football League announces expansion teams for Dallas, known as the Cowboys, to start in the 1960 season, and Minnesota, known as the Vikings, for the 1961 season. In 1961, the Republic of Rwanda is proclaimed. In 1962, Johann Relique gets stung by bees 2,443 times in Rhodesia and survives. In 1965, the current design of the flag of Canada is chosen by an act of parliament. Also in 1965, the rock band The Who make their first appearance on British television. In 1967, rock and roll group The Rolling Stones released their song, Let's Spend the Night Together. In 1968, Canadian singer-songwriter, pianist, and music producer Sarah McLaughlin is born. In 1969, using their first pick of the NFL draft, the Buffalo Bills choose O.J. Simpson from USC. In 1973, Barnaby Jones premieres on CBS television. Also in 1973, the 30th Golden Globes, The Godfather, and Marlon Brando are big winners. In 1977, the Great Lakes blizzard of 1977 begins hitting western New York as well as southern Ontario with wind gusts up to 69 miles per hour or 111 kilometers per hour and snowfall as high as 100 inches or 254 centimeters. The high winds blew the snow into drifts of 30 to 40 feet or 9 to 12 meters. In 1978, Fantasy Island, starring Ricardo Montalban, premieres on ABC television. Also in 1978, rocker Ted Nugent autographs a fan's arm with his knife. In 1979, CBS News Sunday Morning debuts with original host and co-creator Charles Kuralt. In 1980, the 37th Golden Globes are broadcast. Dustin Hoffman and Sally Field are winners. In 1981, the Olympic glory, a tanker sailing in Galveston Bay, Texas, spills one million gallons of oil. In 1982, Italian Special Forces rescue U.S. Brigadier General James L. Dozier, who had been kidnapped by the Red Brigades. In 1984, Tropical Storm Des Moines makes landfall in southern Mozambique, eventually causing 214 deaths and some of the most severe flooding ever recorded in the region. In 1985, USA for Africa records We Are the World. Over 20 million copies of the charity single were sold. In 1986, STS-51L, the space shuttle Challenger, explodes. The orbiter broke apart 73 seconds after liftoff, killing all seven astronauts on board. In 1988, the Supreme Court of Canada strikes down all anti-abortion laws, effectively allowing abortions in Canada in all nine months of pregnancy. In 1989, the 46th Golden Globes are broadcast. Rain Man and Working Girl are among the winners. In 1991, the 18th American Music Awards are broadcast. MC Hammer and Janet Jackson are big winners. In 1998, Michelangelo's painting, Christ, and the woman of Samaria sold for 7.4 million. In 1999, the Ford Motor Company announced that it is buying the automobile division of Sweden's Volvo Manufacturing Company for $6.45 billion. In 2002, TAME Flight 120, a Boeing 727, crashes in the Andes Mountains in southern Colombia, killing 92. 
Also in 2002, Swedish children's writer Astrid Lindgren, who is best known for her works involving Pippi Longstocking, died at age 94. In 2006, the roof of one of the buildings at the Katowice International Fair in Korzo, Katowice, Poland, collapses due to the weight of snow, killing 65 and injuring more than 170 others. In 2011, hundreds of thousands of protesters filled up Egyptian streets in demonstrations referred to as the Friday of Anger against the Mubarak regime. In 2014, DNA analysis confirms that the 6th century plague of Justinian was caused by a variant of Yersinia pestis, which is the same bacteria that caused the Black Death in the mid-1300s. In 2018, the 60th Grammy Awards are held. Bruno Mars wins Best Song, That's What I Like, and Best Album for 24K Magic. In 2019, the U.S. Justice Department charges Chinese tech firm Huawei with multiple counts of fraud, raising U.S.-China tensions. In 2020, U.S. President Donald Trump releases his Middle East peace plan alongside Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at the White House. In 2021, Bernie Sanders' mittens worn to the inauguration raise $1.8 million for Vermont charities after images go viral. Also in 2021, esteemed actress Cicely Tyson passes away at age 96. And again in 2021, Mexico's COVID-19 death toll becomes the world's third highest, overtaking India's. I see you. I know that you have more of my videos right in front of you. I'm watching. Do the right thing.